Good evening, Degenerates, and welcome back to another episode of Degen Hours. It is week nine college football. We had an absolutely electric week eight, electric. a week in which Texas got f***ing shit on. Boom! And as a result of that, this flag is no longer in need of use. So I'm returning it Goodbye! to his right. I'm ret- hey, hey, I'm returning it to you. He's Let returning return it. it Don't you. grab. You can't Let grab. Yeah. This you. isn't an elementary school. It's going over yeah. there! Yeah. 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 Get down! Get down! Get down. It's Get going down. over there! New flag is up, and it's honestly because we don't have an Ohio State one yet, we gotta order one. We'll get one, no But they're ranked higher, but until then, haha, f*** Texas. But week nine's here. <laughs> Throw up the records. This is how we did last week. Boop, 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 Ryan, boop, boop, big kid. week. Four games above 500. Boop, 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 53% of the I season. I finally went above 500. You were. Well done. It only took a Texas loss to get there. I think you're willing to sacrifice that every week. Am I right? Yep. I think I am. Uh, I was four games above 500 as well, picking less games. Big Shock. week. 52% of the season, just behind Ryan. We're very, very close together. And I Mario, was stringing together not weeks. 50%. Oh, no, uh, murder. Bad week. Bad week. Another bad week. Have to do more You and Mike both 47% have on to the get year. More wins. Um, more wins. Yeah. The Mortal Lock Parlay, throw it oh. up right here. Oh. Uh, back to back weeks. Back one, back two, weeks. three, all hit. Yep. Mario, it just bricked. One leg it away. Wasn't yeah. close. Mike, it wasn't close. Mike, give me something. We're on fire. Tough. We're carrying the Mortal. Yeah. I have a better record than you. No, I'm saying you, two weeks ago you lost the mortal. Oh, I was, yeah, yeah, I was like, no, no back enough. to back weeks. Going well, no, last yeah. week. So we're if you're if you don't follow us on the show, the if you're new here, he's really good at mortals. Yeah, you are fantastic. Yeah, Six no, and two in mortals is unbelievable. Um, if you're new to the show, we put a thou- or we're giving away a thousand dollars every week if our best bets hit. We gave you a thousand dollar, or we paid someone four fifty because it was only three legs, but we hit it earlier in the year. Paid a yeah. subscriber four fifty. Two weeks ago, my mortal was one and a half points off, yep. and theirs all hit. One and a half points away from paying you a thousand, and then this last week, our th- our three picks hit, and then and Mario's was, just bricked. Yeah. It wasn't oh. very close. So I mean, yeah, it was. Stick around. It's coming. Up, stick way around. Way. Till I'm the gonna end. come. Um, drop what? a comment. Drop a like if you're not subscribed. Do so already. We just hit 1.2k this week. So Woo! shout out to you guys for showing the support. Bang. The support is crazy on all of the socials: TikTok, oh, yeah. Instagram, YouTube. Everything's going crazy. So if you're not following any of the socials, the links are all in the comments. Um, in the description, I mean. So go ahead, follow those, and just get yourself more entries because we're trying to pay someone. Oh, yeah. And there's been a couple people that have been super active. Just comment. Oh, yeah, don't just think comment. that doesn't go unnoticed because we've already been talking we about it. We see you. Yeah. We see you if you've been commenting. Let's get into the action. First big game of the week, Illinois at Oregon. Ranked matchup between two teams that are playing really well. Oregon now the one seed for the first time in a decade. Oregon minus 21.5 at home, total 54.5. Ryan, starting with you here, you obviously lost to Oregon. You know what oh, yeah. this team has. Love it. Big spread at home against a ranked team. Massive. I am very surprised at this number, actually. Um, and I'll talk about that when it gets to me. But how do you feel about this? Yeah, this number is terrifying. I was thinking more of like a good old 11 and a half That's guy. It. I was thinking like 14. Yeah, max. 21. This is a yeah. massive number. Um, I don't like betting big numbers in ranked matchups in the Big Ten. It just doesn't normally work out well. I like Illinois plus the points here. I still think Oregon wins. Probably controls the game. But I like Illinois covering the game. They did it against Penn State. They covered. I think they'll do it against Oregon again. It'll be a good game, I think, to start. Maybe Oregon gets a little out of the way at the end, but I don't think it's enough to cover 21 and a half. So I like Illinois here. And uh, I also let, sprinkle the under. Sprinkle I'm the under. 100% with you on that. So I just don't think Oregon plays very good defense. I kind of said that you know, pre-Ohio State game as well as post-Ohio State game. They're giving up to any competent team they play, they give up 30 points. Yeah. So this spread essentially tells me, you know, in order in my brain for them to cover this, they have to score in the 50s. The total for the game is 54 and a half. So if you put like the spread and the total, you're getting the you know team total. If you side like of Oregon, things. bet the over. Yeah, yeah. If you <laughs> like Oregon, bet the over for sure. I just think that like the bookmakers are saying Illinois is not going to score on this Oregon team, and I don't think that's true. I think Oregon can't really stop that many teams, and Illinois has been able to score. I mean, yeah. you look at their games, Illinois, you know. They beat Purdue. They scored 50 against Purdue, but Purdue, but only beat them by one. They put up 27, 21 to seven against Michigan. Um, they lost 21 seven to Penn State, but that was still you know only a 14 point margin. In the rest of their games, you know they put up 31 30, 23 and 45. So this team can score. I think they cover. Don't think they win. Uh, Oregon will stay number one after this week. But you want to bet and win the bet, so go uh, Illinois. Uh, yeah, I could not disagree more. I Woo! think um, we saw firsthand when Ohio State played Oregon in Oregon how tough it is to play in Eugene. Um, it is that stadium just being any type of conference game and on the road that they've been on, their stadium is going to be showing up. They're going to be absolutely rocking. Um, you're absolutely right, though, because Luke Alt- Altmeyer. 
uh, the quarterback for Illinois, who is also shout out my former uh, mortal walk last week, um, has been on fire this year. He's thrown for fifteen hundred yards. He's fifteen and one on touchdown interception ratio. Um, he's been going crazy. But similarly, Dylan Gabriel is one of the top Heisman, uh, you know, contenders for a reason. He went two ninety last week and two touchdowns. He's been on fire. The reason why I think Oregon is going to absolutely decimate them is because uh, last week when Illinois was playing Michigan, Michigan is known for having probably, in my opinion, one of the worst quarterback rooms in college football. Probably the worst. And probably the worst. And still, uh, what's his name? Jack Tuttle. Jack Tuttle threw for 202 yards. And we were talking during the beginning of that game how bad it was being highlighted that he was because he was missing passes that any decent quarterback would actually be making. I think uh, Dylan Gabriel is actually going to light up this Illinois defense. I think it's not going to be close. They're going to expose every single bit of their secondary. Oregon by probably 35 here and also take the over. And one thing I just want to push back a little bit on when you said – that you know they're at home it's a really hard place to play they're going to cover this number mm-hmm. how many home games this year out of the four they've played do you think they've covered 21 and a half well i mean they started really bad so i mean i don't well, know pro- one home game it's- no no well they, again they, they, yeah, but they question. start but we were saying the that they started right, no, no, really poorly no, no, your, your logic was you know <clears throat> they're they're a really tough place to play in oregon you know mm-hmm. so they they will cover it because of that mm-hmm. they haven't covered 21 and a half um at all you know, they played four home games. They beat Idaho by 10, Boise by three. Um, what was the one in between? Oh, Michigan State by 21. So, you no, know, not 21 and a half, that. but that's uh-huh. closer you can get. And then Ohio State by one. So they're not really a big, like, blowout team at home, even though it is a hard place to play. Just that's to fair. That this is I a also, fucking huge number. That's yeah. fair. I also feel like it's a little bit of a different scenario. You know, they're the number one in the country. They want to stay the number one in the country. I think there's a little bit of extra push. No, you could be right. This number could be – cool. We yeah, could be so weird wrong. Number, this could yeah. be a 50-0. Mario, what do you think? Um, when I saw this number, like you guys all said, I was surprised. <clears throat> I tried to come up with a number before looking at the line. Uh, for the games that we talk about, and I, I didn't want to overreact, which I feel like this number is. But I put seventeen and a half. I thought it's a it's an Oregon win, but kind of similar to what you guys talked about. I don't think they're gonna blow this team out completely. Twenty one mm-hmm. and a half is just a little bit too big. So I'm gonna take Illinois plus the points here. Uh, I think it's just a good spot. But would I be surprised if Oregon covered this? Yeah. No, not I wouldn't really. be shocked. So I'm I not going to be. I would be. Yeah. Uh, maybe not as uh, strong on this number as Tyler, but I do like this number. Uh, I'm just not going to bet it super heavy. But yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. That's fair. I stand alone. Next game. Yeah, you're a Lone Ranger here. Missouri at Bama. Big really game. interesting game. A must win game for both teams, to be yeah. completely honest. Massive. If impact. either of these teams want to make the playoffs, they both need to win this game. So Bama's definitely got the edge in Vegas. Bama minus 13.5 at home, total 56.5. Michael, I want to start with you. You know, you saw what Bama did to Georgia, then you saw what Georgia did to Texas. It seems mm-hmm. like this domino effect Ryan's been talking about all year oh, in the I SEC. Yep. Do you think there's a spot for Missouri to potentially pull an upset in Bama? You know, this is a really, really interesting Missouri team just because I think, you know, similar to every, like, dominant uh, high-ranking program for college football, it hinges a lot on their quarterback play. And Brady Cook, in my opinion – has been about as on and off as you could possibly be as a human being. Um, some weeks he plays really, really poorly, like when he played in AM, and then other weeks, um, God, what was the week he played before that? That was, I mean, what he decent. did last week was nothing short of fucking spectacular. <coughs> that was insane. That was or, unbelievable. Or, I mean, that too. But, you know, I think this Bama team is also really going to have the fire under all of their asses because the only way that they have any chance of making the playoffs is to win out. And I think that's going to be in everybody's head. So they're going to have a little bit of extra motivation with that being said, I'm taking Mizzou and I'm taking Mizzou really, really large. It's actually my second largest play of the week besides my mortal. Wow. Uh, the reason why is because of three stats and I'm going to give them to you right now. First of all, I think 13 and a half is massive, but uh, going into it, Missouri has been 15 and one against the spread in the last six road games. Obviously, that one was against A and M at five College Station. Wait, you say fifth. five? Five and oh, one. Five. Sorry, five and one in uh, against the spread in the last six road games. 
Bama is one in four against the spread in its last five games in October. And Missouri is four and one against the spread in its last five games in October. So because of those three stats and because this number is so large, because I think Bama has a secondary that will be able to be exposed by Brady Cook and their offense, I'm taking Missouri here. Yeah, nice. Mario? Yeah, I think I'm taking Missouri here. Uh, This is a spot for me. I think Brady Cook showed me a lot last week. What I kind of had in mind with this Missouri team, which is they're not as good as last year. Uh, Mm -hmm. That's obviously apparent. But I think these players really want it. And you're looking at a team, Brady Cook, Luther Burden, like these guys aren't like freshmen or sophomores. Like these guys, like they have experience. I think similar to last week when we saw the Georgia team go into Texas and that was, they felt like that was their season defining moment for that team. I think this is going to be that Georgia Texas game for Missouri. They're going to go into this and they need to go in there and they know they have to start fast and set the tone. I think these guys are going to come out, make it a really tough game for Bama. That being said, I do think Alabama is going to win the game. I just don't see Missouri just I, – I can't see them losing by two touchdowns all season. I know they haven't looked great, but they always hang in games. And uh, I, I think they just – this is a game they really are going to want. So I think they'll – it'll be one score. Right? Yeah, Damn. I agree really quick not to get misconstrued. I think Alabama's going to win, but Mizzou will cover. Damn. First off, hammer the under. I'm obsessed I love with the this under. under. I forgot to mention okay. that as well. Um. I love it so much. I don't think there'll be a lot of points scored in this game, but this line, man, this line's slapping in the face, and I just can't not pick Bama minus 13 and a half. This line should be four and a half. Really? Like, I think it should be so I was small. I say it's a massive and number. I, because it's so big, I, had I think I don't know something. Bama's look terrible after the Georgia game. Not at home, though. Yeah. What, 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 what have they done at home? Bama beat Georgia. I mean, I said after the Georgia game. I think they've looked They've only had one game at home since then. I'm saying, so maybe, yeah, they've only had one home game to show for it. I just think that they're, as a team. Since the Georgia game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since Georgia, I think as a whole, their team isn't flowing, isn't as good. But, like, I just don't think they're that good. And the fact that this number's 13 and a half for SEC showdown, I'm just, I'm, so I'm, I don't believe it, so I'm just going to believe it. What number would you? Four and a half. Five and a half. Four and a half. Yeah, no, so I, I this spread didn't surprise me at all. Because Missouri is, you know, looked they've looked good. really shaky. Yeah. yeah, they were down, you know, big last week against Auburn. Brady Cook went to the hospital, came back, checked himself, out. Won, checked himself out, came sick. back, won the game. Said I have two games left. I'm not missing any of them. Yeah, um, at at home, and so yeah, this one's an interesting spot. So I can see Bama kind of just snapping on. I'm not betting big either direction. Same, but I'm gonna take a couple interesting sides here. So my my pick for the show, I'm gonna go Missouri plus the points. But I'm not really betting Missouri plus points. What I'm betting is Missouri minus six and a half at plus a billion. So I think Missouri has a chance to just continue to do against Bama what teams are doing against Bama and score on them. You saw it with South Carolina, although South Carolina only lo- they lost by two. I don't think Missouri loses if they get up to a really like early lead because I just don't I don't I didn't see enough from Milrow last week to give me confidence in that. And then I'm also betting Bama minus 19 and a half. So I'm outlining this both ways. I don't think it's a close wow. game. I think Missouri's going to win by a touchdown, or Bama's going to blow them out. But if you're ta- if you're betting this number, it is too big. Just you know, in all outcomes, I think Missouri probably covers this more than more than not. I kind of like. I that. like Damn. it. But yeah, I, I, I do think though there is a lot of value if you're just a money line guy and not putting it. Don't put it in parlays. But if you're just like taking small units, dude, this money, money line is fucking juice. You're getting plus thirteen and a half. Yeah. This money line you're getting like plus. I don't even know. I didn't like take a look at it. More, probably more than that. Yeah. Probably like six hundred something, and that that's worth it in my opinion. Yeah, because uh, you don't need you only need to hit one out every six times or whatever. Yeah. Uh, the last game, LSU at Texas and M. Mario, yeah. this might be one of the biggest games of the year for your program. I think it is. LSU oh. is undefeated in the SEC. Texas and M. Undefeated in the SEC. The winner of this game is really, really, really close to being locked into the SEC championship. Like I very, very, very right. close. Um, obviously, you know, LSU Stop still Bama. plays Bama, a yeah. and still plays Texas. So, you know, I, technically the winner of this game, you know, might end up with another loss, but still a one loss team, pretty good chance to make that SEC championship. Yeah. Uh, and you can win out. So I just got to hear your thoughts. a and is two and a half point home favorites. Totals 53.5. Yeah. Um, this is a scary game. I'm not going to sit up here and act like I'm super confident. Wasn't super confident in the Ole Miss game. I felt like at least at home. We had a good chance to pull it out. Um, 
I will say last week against Arkansas was possibly reassuring. No, it was possibly like a season defining shift in our team. And I'm going to say that because it's the first complete game I've seen us play mm. where we just stifled the other team's offense and then we just took care of business, you know, on our offensive end. Um, I like our old line. I like Garrett Nussmeyer. I think he can do fine. This isn't a game where I see it getting out of hand. I think it's we're going to hang in there. And I think that Ole Miss game, you know, that was a, a really good battle test for us. So I'm going to take LSU plus the points. Woo. Uh but it's it's going to be a really really tough game, you know. If you like A and M at home, you know that makes sense too. It's college football, home field advantage is obviously huge. I like the over as well. I think both teams will score. Yeah. yeah. Uh, definitely do not get misconstrued. I would love for A and M to win here, and it's not because I'm against Mario in any way. That's it's exactly be- what no, it it's not. 100%. It's not. The reason why line. is because I just said that line. we have a it's clip not. two weeks ago. But uh, okay, regardless of the clip. <laughs> Uh, I am going to say the reason why I want uh, A&M to win is so that it will mean more when we play them in the final game of the season. And obviously, if you know we hand them their second loss in the conference, not their first, then it means less. So uh, that's the reason why I would want A&M in this position. Normally, I hate A&M. I actually always hate A&M, so I don't really want them ever to win. But, you know, regardless, I think LSU will win here. And the reason why is I think... Maybe it's recency bias, but I think their defense looks amazing. Uh, highlighted by Will Weeks. Will Weeks. Uh, Wait, Will Weeks. I Wait. mean, that guy Wait. is a freaking monster. And I think Skull Connor Wegman. I, mean, I love that guy. Dude. I knew I liked something about him. Yeah. All, all I know is Connor Wegman is he ain't going to know what hit him. So LSU, big here, plus two and a half. Not that big because, you know, lacking confidence. But. LSU here. LSU big here, but not that big because you lack confidence. But LSU. Yeah. Okay, got it. Sure. Yeah, I do not lack confidence. Uh, my last couple of weeks of college football, it's the first time I've really started to feel confident in a like, tiger. my big games that I like. Like every week, I have a few big games. Last week, one of those was Georgia. Every week, it's kind of Navy, and I have a couple of these spots. Been hitting pretty high frequency, and something ticked me off around two weeks ago with this LSU team that I just immediately – I said it on the podcast two weeks ago too. I'm like, There's, this team is going to the SEC Championship. They're winning out the rest of the year. I had a gut feeling with it. I love the way Nussmeier is playing. These receivers are <clears throat> much better than they get credit for. This team's able to run the ball. Their O-line is good. And they can play defense. I mean, teams do score on them a little bit, but they looked really good last week, and I think they're improving. I love going into Arkansas and just beating the brakes off them in a game where you've lost seven to eight the last eight years. So, you know, or the last eight matchups. So, I think LSU's riding hot. I'm picking LSU on the money line for the rest of the season. So I'm definitely taking plus the points here. I think they're a much better team than AM. Nothing has impressed me at the quarterback position from Texas AM this season. I don't think either Wegman or the guy who replaced him that for a little bit was is good at all. AM's a hard place to play. I'll give them that. But I feel like this is the same AM team we see every year where they lose early in the season, then they win a lot of games, then they lose a couple, and they end the season with three or four losses. So this is one of their losses, LSU, on the money line, plus two and a half. Consensus? First off. First off. Consensus. First off. First off. First off. First off. Broken record. I was on the under it last week, actually. I didn't pick a side. First off. He's a big nussy guy. Come on. First off, I love the under. I love the under. I'm a big under guy. I think there are going to be no points this game. Second off, is this an SEC game? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. The SEC is in shambles, and any fucking team could be any team, regardless if they're better or not. Yeah. Mostly because they're at home. Texas A&M's at home, hard place to play. This is going down to the wire. I'm only taking it because I think they probably won by more than a field goal. Could be a one-point win. Uh, Texas A&M. Uh, no consensus. But that's not consensus. Not consensus. No, I'm telling you, the SEC is shit. Any team could be anyone, and this so is going to be could be Hey, no. They could. 100% true. Plus the points. 100% true. Plus the points. I, I'm not disagreeing with that. No, yeah. There you have it. Those are the three main games I'm we want to talk about. There's I'm a scared. lot of other games going on right now, though. Uh, let's tell them all the picks we're taking and then talk more like parlay. Well, weeks. All right. Kicking off the card. We got a lot of them this week. Got to get some wins back. Bang. Uh, starting off, as I always do, Shador, Colorado Shador. minus five. Let's go buffs off a cliff. Five and two. Yep. No, don't sleep on Shador. Minus five and a half against Cincinnati. Also, my other wagon, Georgia Tech, plus 11 and a half against Virginia Tech. 
Uh, moving on, Boise State minus two and a half. Shout out Ashton Genty going against UNLV and Boise State UNLV over 66 and a half. You'll see a theme. I like points this week. Uh, USC bounce back spot minus 14 and a half against Rutgers. Ohio State, shout out Ryan. Bang. Nebraska over 48 and a half. Ole Miss, Oklahoma over 47 and a half. Navy, shout out Tyler. And shout out the forces. Uh, plus 12 and a half against Notre Dame. They're going to outweigh Outright win that. Sport. Out white. Out white. Out right. <laughs> We're gonna out white them. Uh, Arkansas, Mississippi white. State over fifty seven and a half true. points. 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 Uh, Illinois already talked about it. Plus twenty one and a half against Oregon. Iowa <clears throat> minus thirteen and a half against Northwestern. BYU. Shout out Mike. Shout out the Normans. Uh, what? Mormons. Jesus Christ. Shout out the Mormons. Uh, minus one and a half against UCF and BYU. UCF over fifty five and a half. Shout out Mike. Shout out Mike. <laughs> 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 Missouri plus 13 and a half against Bama. Cal minus nine and a half against Oregon State. Vanderbilt, sorry, Mike, uh, plus 18 and a half against Texas. New Mexico plus six and a half against Colorado State. New Mexico, Colorado State over 65 and a half. Miami minus 20 and a half against Florida State. West Virginia, Arizona over 54 and a half. Michigan minus four and a half against Michigan State. LSU, I'm terrified, plus two and a half against Texas A&M. LSU A&M over 53 and a half. Kentucky, minus two and a half against Auburn. SMU, shout out Ryan, minus 11 and a half against Duke. Bang! And last pick on the card, Washington State, minus 14 and a half against South San Diego State. That's a meeting. I, I had to just, I have to get picks. I got to get back to even. Yeah. Like, just, I mean, I'm go spring. big or go home. Uh, <laughs> just, yeah. yeah. Kyron Lacey. Just shoot, Ky- shoot, shoot the, the clip. All right, load the clip. All right, baby. Starting off. How I do every week, regardless of our oh, positional yeah. ranking. Oh, you hook sure. them horns. I thought it was only while you were number that one. Texas, number one. that intro changed minus a bit. eighteen and a half going against Vandy. Vandy, fuck you. You don't, uh, you don't mean that. Moving on, like- quack quack. Oregon minus twenty one and a half against Illinois. My previous mortal lock. Uh, Oregon, <laughs> Illinois over fifty four and a half. There's gonna be points at the wazoo. Missouri plus 13 and a half at Bama. Yes. Uh, Bama, yeah. Uh, LSU plus two and a half. Shout out, Mario. Let's go, Tigers. At AM, College Station, more at college fl- inflation because they suck. Um, so they're fat. Boise State, shout out, Ashton Jenty, minus two and a half against UNLV. Washington plus six and a half at Indiana. Wait, what? Yeah. You love Indiana's your. Legacy no, school. No, no, no. no, I actually do love. What? <laughs> no, I. Hey, hey. hey. It's a spot. Indiana still wins. It's a spot. Yeah. It's a spot. You were just Six confused. Well, no, no, no. It is what it is. <laughs> Ole Miss minus 20 and a half against Oklahoma. Oh, you fucking sucks. Uh, Ohio State, shout out. Shout out uh, this guy, Ryan. Ryan. His name's Ryan. Um, wow. This guy. The higher ranked minus, Ohio State team. Minus right. 25 and a half against Nebraska. Northwestern Iowa under 37 and a half. Don't know how it happens. BYU, <laughs> no they have Jesus on their side this season. Not the Mormons. Minus one and <laughs> a half out at UCF. Yeah. Let's go shout white out, Utah. Shout out Norman the Mormon. Um, Whoa. Yeah. Wait, Cam Ward, shout Asian. out him. What did you Miami, say? Miami minus uh, 20 and a half versus Florida State because they suck. Uh, West Virginia, take me home, country roads, plus two and a half at Arizona because Wildcats are going to get the Claude. Kentucky, minus two and a half. New Wildcats not getting the Claude versus <laughs> Auburn. Washington State, SDSU, over 56 and a half. And lastly, but not leastly, Navy, plus 12 and a half at Notre Dame. Wow. wow, that was in that insane. That CYU segment was That was wild. seven and a half minutes of just fucking... <laughs> There's insanity. no way that was seven and a half minutes. <laughs> There's like literally no statistical way. I mean, someone, give stats guy. someone give me a timer. Someone give Let's put a timer up there in post as to Michael's picks and see how long. A minute goes. and 43 seconds. Over under at six and a half minutes. No. Uh, yeah, but we're going to get into it. I love these picks this week. Unbelievable bounce back. First off on my cards, I was buried after a couple of really bad buried. hitters. Yeah. Yeah. And You're getting to above, just about 52% so hole. far. Yeah, it's been really good last Ty few weeks. I love being so in the hole. Let's keep, let's keep bouncing back. <laughs> Illinois plus 21 and a half. We already talked about this. I think this is a spot too big of a number. Missouri plus 13 and a half. Could go either way. Not as big of a lean as some of these other picks, but I still think it's good value here. LSU plus two and a half. Love it. They win this game outright. Now onto the ones we didn't already discuss. Louisville minus six and a half at Boston College. This Louisville team has actually had a 
for an ACC team, a tougher schedule, and they still have to play Clemson and a lot of other teams. This is one of those ones they can kind of flex their muscles on, so they cover this relatively easily, I think, even though it's on the road. Ohio State minus 25 and a half at home against Nebraska. Whoop, whoop. We just saw what Nebraska is against Indiana. Ohio State's much better than Indiana. I know you're not supposed to do that in college football. Like, this team beat this team, but whatever. No, they cover this spread easy. Virginia minus four and a half at home against UN- UNC. <laughs> Absolute spot. If I didn't have the mortal lock, which if you've been watching the show, you know what my mortal lock is, this would have been my eh, in contention with two other picks for my mortal lock. But I love Virginia minus four and a half. I think they win by probably 21 points. UNC is not good this year. They just have a good running back. Uh, BYU minus one and a half at UCF. They stay undefeated. Cal minus nine and a half um, at home against Oregon State. No reason why. This is just a gut feel. No, I love that. It shouldn't be this big. Texas minus 18 and a half at Vandy. Not a big play, but... They've got to bounce back or else <laughs> yeah. they might get relegated back this to the Big 12. guy's just such an asshole. That'd be what? sharp. How is that an asshole move? I just picked your team. No, I love you. No, you're the worst. Wait, no, you seriously, team how is that an asshole move? No, I'm sorry. He picked fucking Vandy. Because I knew he'd and say you didn't say, no, you, I knew he didn't say, say he was an asshole. He didn't say you're an asshole. No, no, because no, I, he would call me an asshole if I picked Texas. I knew Mike would it makes no. You got to know Mike. You got to know his brain. No, I'm sorry. He likes to be the victim. No, oh, he's always the victim. No, that's no, why you had everything. to go, Vandy. I'm going to put and everything half is the a victim. Unit. I'm oh my half god, a you guys are so it. mean to me. Oh, Texas. Lost. You know what I said the other day after the Texas game? I said I think Clemson beats the shit out of Texas in the playoffs. And Mike goes, "Why are you so mean to me?" And I'm like, "Holy f- saying my say team like is that. going to beat your team <laughs> is all of a sudden not allowed." I mean, this guy is this is progressive Mike if I've ever seen. Oh, him. I love progressive. He's liberal Mike, progressive Mike, and Fake news. he loves to be the victim. Liberated Fake Mike. news. At least you got to be the victim last Fake week. Fake right? news. You got to be the victim last week. Fake news. Just got the shit kicked in. On Fake me. news. I'm right, right, you know, news. Live switch. That's Vandy plus 18 and a half <laughs> against Texas. <laughs> F- Texas. I'm changing this on my card. Oh, how you doing? Mike's too good. He just got you to I mean, yeah. yeah not even, we if loses, we don't want Tyler it. loses that pick, he's going to be more tilted. No, why are you in on corner? No, that's fine. One of us is winning on the season. One of corner us is through riders uh, only. Next pick, West Virginia plus two and a half at Arizona. I said I've never been on West Virginia, but I don't know how the they're underdogs against this terrible Arizona team. So I'm ready to get hurt again. Points. I'm ready to get hurt again. West Virginia, take me home, baby. Don't make me throat. kick the dog. Me and intern Johnson always just jerk each other off about this West Virginia team. Whoa. What do you mean by that? Intern Johnson's only 14. Exactly what I mean. No, it's progressive. It's progressive. Miami <laughs> minus 20 and a half at home against. We're canceled, but. <laughs> Monetized, canceled. <laughs> yeah, no, Miami blowout. Uh, Penn State minus six and a half at Wisconsin. If someone knows why this line is six and a half, you can give me a call. I know, right. I know Penn State's bad, but this, this is fucking crazy. I hope they lose, but I'm betting on Penn State. Michigan State plus four and a half at Michigan. Bet the money line. Don't even kid yourself. Michigan can't play football. They're awful. <laughs> Michigan it, State's not much better. They're no, terrible. they're worse, but they at least have a guy who can advance the ball past the line. That's a Michigan. sweat. Well, no, did you see they're not playing that quarterback? That well, played and year? mascot for mascot, Spartans are better. That's facts. <laughs> Kansas State minus 10 and a half at home that. in the battle of Kansas against Kansas. Easy win. Duke plus 11 and a half and money line. At home against SMU. This is SMU's falling out party in the ACC. No. Colorado minus five and a half at home against Cincinnati. Oh, and that is God. a seven minute card. Ended it yeah. so poorly. No, just like every week. All right, baby. As you can probably tell, I sound like I've been heavily chain smoking for the past week due to the Ohio State loss. Whoa. So. so Whoa. What? Holy smokes. There were references to why you lost your voice I might have right also been sucking a lot of. We don't know yet. We'll find out soon. Bleep that but up. Bleep that while up. I can show you my card, editor Mike's going to play an amazing song, and I'm just going to go, what? Mike. Bleep that up. Uh, Is the song playing? Please respect the song. I, wouldn't it be funny if I don't play in this song? It and it's just us in the background. And how I end every fucking card, SMU, team total over 30 and a half. Wow. Bang! To wow. be honest, that was a great card. Great card. I didn't card. hear a wow. lick of that. Yeah. You know, they're so fast. All it does is make money. Ryan has the most SMU. picks and says it's the fastest. Wait, that was like really What's fast. What's the team total over? 30 and a half. And I have them losing outright. So Duke's got to score a lot. High scoring game. 60. High scoring game. Duke's got to score a lot. Electric. All right. Lock in. Come on. Literally. Lock in. Lock. Lock. Mortal locks. If you're not and subscribed, hit that burn. button now. Drop. Burn. Dude, you can't just. Burn. Bro. Shut the fuck up. Actually tilted. No, sound the the f- f- 
Jesus Christ. Oh, Sound the alarm. Sound, Sound the alarm. alarm. Dude, I'm... Mike Sharp. He's Go wearing a blanket of hospitality. If you've made it this far, I don't know how I've made it this far. I'm losing my fucking mind. I'm about to flip this table. Yeah. Ah. All right. It's mortal lock time. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. If you want a chance at winning a thousand bucks, it's these four picks. We parlay them and we pay you. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think. Ryan, kick us off. All right. Gnarly week. I'm actually on fire in Mortal Locks. I did three in a row. I said I wasn't going to lose the rest of the year. I'm going to try 0 and 5 and now 3 and 0. So if you're going on trends, you got two more weeks. Yeah, yeah, I got two more weeks in the tank. This week was really hard, though. I did something that I'm not necessarily inclined to do, and I couldn't pick a college game. I I couldn't. It was too hard of a slate. The slate looked insane. These games are weirdly marked. They are weird. Also, Army wasn't playing, so I couldn't do the little forces Johnson. Mm. So... Going to NFL. Wow. If you listen to a That's podcast bold. this week, we oh already boy. talked about this team might being the best team in the league. Oh. Detroit Lions minus 10 and a half yep. against the Titans oh, at Titans. home. At oh, home. Bills just played the Titans. Nice. They won by a billion to nothing. Cool. Titans have nothing going for them. They're going to hopefully start Mason Rudolph. I kind of want them to start Will Levis. Okay. Either way, I win. Lions also, they can't have one of those weird games where they hiccup because the Packers kind of the Bears and the Vikings are right behind them yep. and you have to get that one seed and all these games are going to be so important. Every game, lock the fuck in. Dan Campbell got those boys going and I might be losing my voice but the Lions are going to fucking win by a million! Oh, that just cooked the rest of the voice. You just put it all out there. Yeah, we have a... Oh, we have like, he's gone. Yeah, he's like gone. No, I like that more. pick. Okay. That's awesome. Yep. I love the Lions Pretty there. Pick. Yeah, Mortal Lock Dumb time. Pick. You know what this... <laughs> you know what this means, boys. If it ain't broke, don't I've fix I've mortal Navy for... <laughs> Times. How many times have I missed? I've hit Navy four <laughs> times. <laughs> Navy is the most mispriced team in college football. I've yep. said it since week two I jumped on this train. The mortal lock is Navy plus 12 and a half at home against Notre Dame. And let me tell you why real quick. So I'm going to ride Navy every week as long as they're still mispriced. I think this is the last week I'll be able to bet this. Yeah, for sure. So this Because I believe they outright win this game, and I am 100% serious in that. Salute. <laughs> but no, I've been screaming this since uh, I've been screaming this since week two. Um, they're just starting to get the respect they deserve being ranked in the top 25, but they're the third highest scoring offense in college football with 44 points per game, and Notre Dame is the 22nd. Notre Dame is the third best scoring defense in college football. Navy's the 22nd. So they're exact opposites on offense defense. Both these teams are really complementary of the other. Um, Notre Dame is the only one of the two teams to beat a currently ranked team with his Texas A&M, but that was week one. That was their first game of the season. They're also the only team to have lost a game, and that isn't to now 4-3 and three NIU. So it was a really bad loss. Blake Horvath is third in the country in QBR, while Riley Leonard is 23rd. He's been doing most of the work on the ground. One thing Navy's been really good at is limiting the ability for other teams to run the ball. It's a great matchup, but I think the QB play and home field advantage gets this done for Navy on the outright, and I love the gap you're getting with the spread. Woo! Wow, I love that. I love the Navy. I loved all of our armed forces because I love the United States of America. But you know what else I love is I love a good coaching time where one coach's weapons can fit into the gap of another team and really just penetrate and do some damage, right? So the pick for this one is a big game. It's a very important game in the Big Ten Conference, Ryan's Conference, <laughs> and it is Penn State minus six and a half against Wisconsin because Lions love cheese and they're going to eat them, but actually, let's get into the stats. So, let's see. Penn State has a very lethal and penetrating ground game. Um, and really funny that penetrating word and. Well, no, just funny enough, Wisconsin's biggest hole in their team is definitely on the ground. I love this. This is amazing. That's so, crazy. really quick, just the one stat I'm going to give you, and then we're just yeah, going to pass it off. But uh, Penn State, they average number uh, ranking 22nd in the country, 5.2 yards per rush, and they rush over 55% of their offense. Unbelievable. Now, if we look at Wisconsin – Wisconsin, uh, they are terrible in their rush defense, and they allow, on average, 4.4 yards per rush, which ranks them in the bottom half in the nation for rushing defense. Penn State is going to run over them like Bulldogs. I love but it. But they're Lions. 
Yeah. No, I love it. <laughs> Great pick. Right. Mike, stay hot. You're the hottest picker in the yeah. world. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Penetrate yeah. those picks. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. yeah. Leave right. those holes open. Whoa. Mario. <laughs> Oh. No, we, got, we gotta get through this. Yeah, yeah. yeah just, just it's uh, it's a bounce back spot. I, I like this offense. <laughs> Give me Ole Miss minus twenty. Bang. It's okay. Bang. 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 There you have it. Yeah. Uh, yeah wow, this is a gnarly ass. Crappy also, pick of the week. Yeah, baby. yeah. Crappy pick of the week. Don't bet. They these. are doing terrible. Yeah, they're, probably fade these. Yeah, they're yeah. really fade these. Freaking uh, bad. This team, I actually bet them on my card last week, and they were horrible. But yeah. let's see if they bounce back. Uh, James Madison University minus 24 and a half against Southern Miss. JMU uh, seems too good for a like crappy pick, to but, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, and there you have it. Yeah. Mortal Lock Parlay, R4 Mortals. We got to hit our money going to you. All you got to do, hit that subscribe button, drop us a comment. Let's, let us know what you think of the episode. And again, thank you guys for all the support. It's been crazy to see the channel Dude, growth. Yo, so badass. Rock. And Mario. Let them know what they got to do. Yeah. Let them know. If, uh, if Mike didn't make it clear, you guys better penetrate those comments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, we need a Whoa. like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you're leaving, uh, I don't know, fade Mike. or Actually, Mike's been, on, Mike's been hot yeah, with the mortal. So let's... Uh, just ride Mike. Ride actually, just, Mike. just leave your Venmo there. I think yeah. last time I said that, we hit. So We did. Yeah, type That's in your Venmo hard. in the comments. And uh, when we hit, we'll, we'll Venmo one of you guys a bunch of money. And uh, turn on that notification bell. <laughs> He loves doing that. Ding ding. Yeah, we'll I do. And we'll see you that. next week. We'll see Bye. You